If they take the ship, they'll rape us to death, eat our flesh, and sew our skins into their clothing. And if we're very, very lucky, they'll do it in that order. Zoe's description of Reavers on the TV show Firefly sounds pretty insane. And every time we meet the Reavers in the show and movie, they seem just as insane. And yet, they can fly spaceships? I share the story behind my song, Reaver Drinking Song, today on Pub Songs and Stories number 280. Fair city where the girls are so pretty I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone She wheeled a wheelbarrow Through streets broad and narrow Crying cockles and muscles Alive, live, oh Was no wonder for so were her father and mother before. They each wheeled their barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles alive, alive, oh. Could see her. That was the end of sweet Molly Malone. Now her ghost wheels her barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and, and muscles, muscles alive, alive, alive. Oh. Welcome to Pub Songs and Stories. I am Mark Gunn. I'm a sci fi musician and podcaster living in Atlanta, Georgia. And that was Molly Malone featuring Jesse Ferguson. And that is from my upcoming CD, Come Adventure With Me. And if you missed it, you have to say, you have CDs? <laughs> the uh, album is released on March 4th, Monday, March 4th. And I'm really excited. I'm sharing a series of Pub Songs and Stories episodes where I talk about the songs in each episode. I've already done. Let's see. We did Blink. We did Naked. We did Spider Webs. And today we're talking about Reaver Drinking Song. Uh, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But first, if you're new to the show, please subscribe. You can do that at pubsong.com or... Just send me an email. You can send it to follow at keltfather.net. Follow at keltfather.net. This is a great way to tell me what you're doing while listening to the show, or you can also sign up. You'll get a an autoresponder with a whole bunch of information on how to do that. Now, of course, I should be creating some music videos in preparation for the release of Come Adventure With Me, but that's not the way I work, is it? <laughs> I'm not one of these people that optimizes things. <laughs> Instead, I did make a music video for a song from my previous album, which is called Selkuth, the name of the album, and the video that I did was uh, When She Held Me In Her Arms, and I recorded it live at... Uh, on the Isle of Skye, Neast Point on the Isle of Skye in Scotland. And it's got this glorious view, and it's just me singing along with the song, and uh, it's got a you know beautiful view, and I was really pleased how it came out. So I hope you'll check it out. You'll find a link to that in the show notes. But it occurs to me that I don't necessarily know which videos I should be making. And you can kind of help me figure that out by telling me what are your favorite songs on Selkuth. There is a poll in the Gunrunners Club if you're a patron. 
I'll talk more about that in a moment, but uh, head on over there, follow that link, and let me know what your favorite song from the album is. A few upcoming shows. This weekend, I'll be at Maggie McGinnis Pub in Huntsville, Alabama, March 2nd, the Lost Druid Brewery, March 9th, Sonoya Brew Company, and then I'll be at the Sherwood Forest Fair the last two weekends of March and April 19th through 21st at Jordan Con. Let's play some music. The Elders are one of the bands that I've had on the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast for years. I love their music. Celtic rock. Uh, they're out of um, Kansas City, I believe. And they just have some great stuff. I played one of their songs down at the pub on episode number 644 of the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. This is a new track from their newest album. Well, all right then. I, we thought that they had broken up. And turns out they ended up re- releasing another album. I don't know if they're still performing, but <laughs> they're still making music. So that's fantastic. Uh, but this was one of my favorite tracks from that episode. I voted for it in the Celtic Top 20, and you can go vote for the tracks over there as well. But in the meantime, here is The Elders with Down at the Pub.
Join the club. This show is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. If you enjoy this podcast or my music, please join the club. You can get something new every week. It could be bonus podcasts, downloadable songs, music videos, printed sheet music, blogs, stories from the road. Plus, you'll get access to other videos like my Coffee with the Kilt Father concert series that happens uh, Wednesdays at 1130 a.m. Uh, Eastern. You can send an email to follow at keltfather.net for all the deets. And if you can't support me financially right now, you can sign up on Patreon for free. You'll still get a lot of information and videos and such as they are released. So uh, please sign up there. Or if you really want to support me, become a patron. Today we're talking about the story of Reaver Drinking Song. I said that quote at the beginning, but I think I'll repeat it again. If they take the ship, they'll rape us to death, eat our flesh, and sew our skins into their clothing. And if we're very, very lucky, they'll do it in that order. That's a great uh, description of Reavers, and that came from the first episode of Firefly called Serenity. However, this song is inspired by the episode 3 uh, bushwhacked from the TV show Firefly. It, I also wrote the song as part of the In the Verse song crafting podcast that I do with Mikey Mason, episode number three, there as well. We, uh, if you're not familiar with the podcast, we sit down, we uh, write songs inspired by fandoms, our favorite things, and we did the first whole first season is all Firefly. And uh, well, I came across that episode. Bushwhack was like my, my least favorite episode of Firefly. And I think it's a little bit disturbing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is that uh, bothered me so much. I mean, there's some great moments in it, but something bothered me enough that I was like, I don't like this episode that much. So I don't watch it as much as the others. Uh, but it's still, it still is Firefly. And so it has some great writing and whatnot. Um, but I was having trouble figuring out what to write about. So I ended up doing a comedy song with that basic idea is that, okay, so we have these, these humans who are basically insane and they will, you know, rape you, eat your flesh and sew your skins into their clothing. And yet they can fly a spaceship. <laughs> mm. Seemed kind of odd, right? So uh, that was the whole idea of writing this song is uh, I, I decided to write a drinking song. It's what I do. So I made a very simple course. And it goes, bash their heads, flay their skin, make them scream in pain, let them alone and think you're done and start, let's start another refrain. And that's a, the, the start another refrain, refrain, I think it comes from the old style folk songs, particularly those you'll find a lot of times at Renaissance festivals, but it's like, oh, and let's do it again. Was that, or it could be like things like Henry the Eighth, I, I'm Henry the Eighth, I am, Henry the Eighth, I am, I am, yeah, you know. And then second verse, same as the first, you know, except it's not the same as the first. So, and one of the things, usually when I'm writing songs, I don't write songs about characters in the show. This time, it's all about the characters. So, <laughs> we start with Nishka, who is uh, old and scary with a bad reputation. That's from uh, the episode, Tra The Train Job. And where he says, uh, you have he's all about reputation. Uh, and then he heard a reaver scream. His body's gone for cremation. But he's an old guy. Um, really, really, you know, not nice person. But uh, even a reaver scream is enough <laughs> to uh, kill him and get him ready for cremation. Badger, who shows up in the first episode, uh, was a businessman. Roots in the community. He likes uh, to talk about that. Oh, yeah, roots in the community. Uh, and he, a reaver ate his little gang and now he can't even pee. Uh, he is a gangster in the TV show. He works in the uh, black market. And of course, as a little gang can make is a nice euphemism for losing um, another appendage <laughs> that prevents him from being able to pee. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> I thought that was a, a, a fun a fun little twist there. Durin Steak. Durin is uh, from the episode Trash. Uh, he was the... Well, perhaps the one love of Saffron, uh, Yosef Bridge, Saffron, the evil villainess from Our Mrs. Reynolds. But uh, Dern's steak was always rare before I met him. And of course, he since he was so rich, you know, he could eat his steak rare. He met a reaver now won't eat steak. He's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I love some of the, the comedy. I'm really pleased with myself with the comedy of this uh, of this episode. I think some little good jokes and they they, they play out well. He <laughs> met a reaver. Now won't eat steak. I, I can't do that. <laughs> Bester Bester is uh, from the episode Out of Gas, 
and uh, Bester was the first engineer before Kaylee, who was, they were having sex on the ship, and oh, she loves engines, gets her hot, you know, but he's kind of a, a creep, and he loves ships and women, they howled when he boarded them, again, not much of a euphemism there, but a little bit, he, his ship was boarded by reavers, now he howls when they board him, uh, and again, <laughs> a nice twist and reverse on that, that whole the whole phrase there. Since uh, sh- the Reavers like to board ships, but what else are they doing to that poor Bester? Boss Higgins is from the episode Janestown. He's the uh, the the boss of that little town on Higgins Moon, where uh, Jane robbed a whole bunch of people. But his word was law. What he said was set in stone. Of course, uh, Higgins Moon is they produce mud or clay uh, for ships. The, frequently, there are uh, put on ships and such. Um, but the Reavers hit Higgins Moon, and the law is now written in bone. All those uh, poor mutters out there uh, might not be so happy right now. Fanti and Mingo are fine twins. You can't tell one from the other. That was uh, from the movie. Fanti and Mingo are some twins that are also uh, black market dealers. And uh, they are twins. And Malcolm goes in, and he talks to them. And uh, they, they, they like to say, uh, how, how can you tell which one is, is prettier? And uh, Mal, sa- Mal says, uh, Fanti's prettier or something on that lines. And, <laughs> but then they meet a band of Reavers. Now Mingo is the prettiest brother, which is poor, poor Fanti. <laughs> it's dark humor, but it's humor nonetheless. Jubal was a bounty hunter, a sadist through and through. Jubal, of course, was a bounty hunter. He's in the episode Objects in Space, the very last episode of Firefly. And he's he's all philosophical. Like, he rambled about ph- philosophy while a reaver started to chew. So much. He's so, so much uh, into philosophy and such. He's like, okay, you can eat me, while, but I'm still talking about this stuff. He just won't shut up. <laughs> Uh, the final line is uh, from the episode Bushwhacked, where um, the, the one of the humans who the one survivor of this ship that was hit by Reavers uh, says, "No mercy, cattle for the slaughter." I think, um, and I decided to use that as to show the insanity of it all. Where no mercy, they all were weak. Cattle for the slaughter. Open them up and look inside. And then I throw in completely off <laughs> in the next realm. I think I see Harry Potter. <laughs> I think that, that that suitably sums up the fact that they are indeed uh, insane. But yeah, they still have drinking songs. You can uh, just imagine them sitting in the in the uh, in the mess hall singing <laughs> drinking songs and uh, maybe attacking one of each other and every now and then. So, all right. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the song. I'll be back in a moment to tell you a little bit more about Come Adventure With Me. But in the meantime, here is Reaver Drinking Song. Crash their heads, lay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Ishka was old and scary, a bad reputation. And then he heard a reaver scream. His body's gone for cremation. Crash their heads, lay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Badger was a businessman, roots in the community. A reaver ate his little gang, and now he can't even pee. Bash their heads, flay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let him alone and think you're done. Let's start another refrain. Durham steak was always rare before I first met him. He met a reaver, now won't eat steak. He's a vegetarian. Bash their heads, lay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're done, let's start another refrain. Esther loved ships and women, they howled when he boarded them. His ship was boarded by reavers, now he howls when they board him. Bash their heads, lay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're done, let's start another refrain. Boss Higgins' word was law, what he said was set in stone. The reavers hit Higgins Moon, the law's now written in bone. Bash their heads, flay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're done, let's start another refrain. Fenty and Mingo are fine twins, you can't tell one from t'other. Until they met a band of reavers, now Mingo's the prettiest brother. Bash their heads, flay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're 
done the start, another refrain. Jubal was a bounty hunter, a sadist through and through. He rambled about philosophy while Reavers started to chew. Bash their heads, flay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're done, let's start another refrain. No mercy, they all were weak, cattle for the slaughter. Open them up and look inside, I think I see Harry Potter. Bash their heads, flay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're done, let's start another refrain. Bash their heads, flay their skin, make them scream in pain. Let them alone and think you're done, let's start another refrain. Again, Come Adventure With Me comes out on March 4th, Monday, March 4th. I'm really excited to share this new album. It is a, just a beautiful piece uh, of work, I think. Um, I'm, there's some great music on it. It was uh, well done. This song features me, of course, on auto harp and vocals, Sam Galogli on fiddle, and Daniel I. Briggs on ma- bass and mandolin. I, I, I can't help but think about when it, it Come Adventure With Me. It's such a great uh, album for... Uh, to me, for adventure, um, I know there's there's only one track that's inspired by uh, Bilbo Baggins and Hobbits and such, but uh, which that's going to be the next track I'll talk about next week. But it's it's just a beautiful piece of of uh, adventure because that's kind of where I'm at in the, in this world. Is I love adventure, I love traveling, I love exploring things, I love music and songs. It's one of the reasons why I've I my Celtic Invasion Vacations now has its own podcast uh, because I. I enjoy sharing stories uh, about these wonderful things, adventure and such. And um, so I'm really excited to, to share this album with you. Uh, there will be some limited edition bundles over on Bandcamp when the album comes out next week. So make sure you pick up something uh, you can to support my art, because this is how I make a living, is with music, and uh, we are in at strange times when it comes to making a living with music. So, all right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll be back next week with the title track. Thank you for listening to Pub Songs and Stories. This episode was edited by Mitchell Peterson. You can follow and listen to the show on my Patreon or wherever you find podcasts. Sign up to my mailing list to learn more about songs featured in this podcast and discover where I'm performing. Remember, reduce, reuse, recycle, and think about how you can make a positive impact on climate change. Have fun and sing along at pubsong.com.